Hello, bicycles. My name is Hotsusti. Here I am, and welcome back to another day in Factorio. Last time we did a bit of uh, expansion, um, also expanded our pollution cloud, uh, but we hooked up uh, a new iron field, a new copper field, and we tripled up on the yellow signs as well as the purple signs. However, looking at it, uh, currently I think the yellow signs is catching up because we are not producing any purple at all because of lack of stone. So today uh, we will tackle a few small uh, tweaks along the way in order to get uh, our research running again, uh, meaning we need to have our first train of purple and yellow signs um, being delivered to the setup. So first things we need to sort out stone. And we are doing this by tweaking the loading here because we can see we have quite a few trains waiting to be loaded. Uh, the chests are empty, so clearly the uh, bottleneck here is that we just cannot get enough stone into the chests. So unfortunately the, the first thing we do is disconnect everything that we have here, uh, rip this part out. Um, and just put the, the stone in there. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six bells coming in. So we need a six to something, and we will go with two to output because we have a splitter down there. So we can have two inputs there and what we also want to do is upgrade this whole thing to red belts because we have more input than we are pushing out here so if we can speed that thing up this should be good. And now, looking at this, uh, it looks like the, uh, the belts is faster uh, than we can push things in here. Um, if we also have stack inserters on the other side, then it's a one-to-one -one throughput. And the chests only get filled up in the time when there is no train waiting here. So that should help us with loading the trains faster, um, uh, which should help with um, delivering uh, more of that stone where it needs to be. And I think with copper we have quite, no, not with copper, with coal, it's the same letter, we have quite similar situation so let's see what we can do for coal and here the situation is a bit different we have one belt that is not delivering anything anymore we can pack that one in and that then means we have two belts going in and if we say we want to play the same thing and we should have two belts going out. So placing the second belt 
here. That basically means we do this. We have two, then one split hook just to uh, evenly distribute the whole thing. And there's one piece missing. And we shall see if this then is fast enough. I mean, at the moment, we don't have any trains waiting here uh, to, be, to be loaded. But let's see if the uh, fast inserters can handle the uh, yellow belt. Yes, not entirely. Uh, but I think uh, with the, the demand that, that we have, we are okay-ish. So the next thing is a bit more complicated. Or uh, let's not say complicated, involved. So if you look here at our iron ore station, we have that connected up with uh, a bit of uh, logistics where we say disable this station if uh, there is more than 13k uh, in the chests. We don't have that for stone and neither do we have that for coal. And the effect of this is that we basically have five stone delivery stations and just as many um, delivery trains so that on each unloading station we could have a train sitting and unloading but currently there are three trains waiting to be loaded and I think if we want to add more and more trains and uh, and facilities uh, onto here, we probably also should do the 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 stone and the coal with a bit of um, uh, logistics. So we only have uh, material delivered to stations that actually need them because otherwise trains will always go to the nearest station that is free and if we have more station than we have trains then the farthest away stations will never see a delivery so I think what we do here is um, have let's connect the chests up and then here and then make a copy of the chests because then we can copy that over uh, and do not need to uh, use any additional um, additional um, wires so stone 30,000 much do we have actually in there we have 13,000 okay uh, let's see I'm I'm never sure uh, with this this uh, comparator in which direction it has to point but that seems 
the right way. So I will go around and do that for all the stone and coal stations so that we could add more stations, more factories that require stone and coal, but we don't necessarily also need to add train for every station that, that we add. And what do you know? The same tactic can also be applied to liquids if we connect up uh, the tanks. Um, they are a bit farther away, so we need uh, more wire here and then here we can connect the wires up. One tank can hold 25k. So I think if we set this to 20,000, that should be good. And we can do this for the petroleum, for the lubricant, for the sulfuric acid, um, and for the water. And that should then really reduce the amount of trains that are running around or just sitting in station. With the petroleum we have to be a bit careful uh, because for petroleum we don't have a waiting bay for the loading stations. So the, the waiting bay would basically be the station they are in at and that could potentially cause problems if the train is sitting here uh, the volume drops below the threshold the train that was finished loading wants to go here uh, but then is basically stuck be behind I think they should still be able to pass right to here and that would free up the loading bay however it is possible that the loading bay is not uh, or this train sitting here is not the next in line to be loaded so potentially it could block the line but we will we will just have to see how that turns out so next up i will connect all the the tanks uh, with the stations and set that up now with all the liquid stations also hooked up let's see where we stand in our map and here we can see uh, color wise um, the red ones those are the ones that are disabled because there is enough uh, material there. Then the blue ones, those are the ones that either have a train standing there or a train is coming. So we are just interested in the ones uh, that are white and we still can see some some stone uh, but we see copper 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 so i think we might need um copper trains so let's copy that over send it off and have a second one going and that should help out with the uh, many stations that require copper but have no trains delivering it because while we added uh, quite a few factories in the last episode 
I don't think we added also enough train for copper and and iron so to finish off this episode let's have a look at our science production and let's actually filter the science that we are producing and we can see uh, yellow science is the one we produce the least but it's about on the par uh, with with the with the with the purple one so then next up is the uh, chemical signs um, probably we could add one or two more factories to uh, break even with the with the with the blue one and then up here is the military science and i think red and uh, and green we are not even producing uh, because we have so um they have so many produced so everything is stocked up and backlogged so l looking at here we are producing roughly 33 at the moment the, the the purple one is a bit stronger that could be because for the the, the yellow ones uh, we need the uh, low density structure which is quite uh, intense on copper consumption and as we just saw we had not enough train delivering copper ore but that should be sorted out yeah here we have a, a white copper but everything else is mostly red so now it's it's just a matter of time uh, and waiting until we get the first trains for purple yeah there we need 3000 more science packs and here uh, we need about um, three and a half thousand so that will still take a while until we can pick up our research but i'm hoping we can get there by the start of the next episode so i hope you enjoyed this tweaking episode and tune in next time when we hopefully see some more research and figure out what we can do with that as well. Until then, goodbye!